Are you looking for the fastest and most reliable WordPress hosting for your WordPress website, but you kind of don't know where to go? Well, I was there too, so I wanted to try something really different that has never really been done on YouTube before. I've actually purchased a shared hosting account on all the top providers right here, and I've tested and watched the performance for around 30 days. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my results of which hosting company performed the fastest and which company performed the slowest. Also keep in mind that I've actually installed the same size child theme on all of these hosting providers to bring you guys truthful, accurate, non-biased results of which hosting company truly is the fastest and the most reliable. So the test will have something that looks like this right here, where we'll first talk about the load speed, we'll talk about server response and technology level to show you guys which hosting company is performing the best. Now, I'm also going to be doing a live website speed test on all of these domains to show you guys, you know, truthful, accurate results of which hosting company truly is uh, reliable and fast. And I'm also going to be talking about what Google recommends that your website speed should be loading at before people start to leave. So I'll talk about that coming up. So before I begin, I wanna let you guys know that the links and the coupon codes for all these web hosting companies are in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. I spent about 800 bucks on shared hosting plans. So these are the companies I'm going to be reviewing is InMotion Hosting, Green Geeks, SiteGround, Bluehost, A2 Hosting, Web Hosting Pad, DreamHost, HostGator, and WP Engine. Now I'm actually gonna test my current internet right now to let you guys know that um, if there's something slow going on, it's not due on my end. So I have a relatively very low ping and I have a pretty good uh, download speed time. Now, what does Google think? Well, Google recommends that your site should be loading at around three seconds. Anything longer than around three seconds on mobile devices, they find that 53% of people will leave your website just because it's taking longer than three seconds. People are pretty impatient today, so we kind of have to accommodate for that. And also, this is the theme that we are going to be using. Now, this is a Divi child theme. You guys can learn more about Divi child themes on my website. It's basically a five page website with a lot of text, a lot of custom CSS, and a lot of images. Because we know we need to utilize and strain the host as much as possible to sort of get enough information to find out if these servers can perform under pressure. But not really under pressure, you know, this is just a five page website, which is sort of the industry standard for most businesses. So we have a home, an about, a services page, a second services page, and a basic contact uh, us page for this test, okay? So let's go ahead and test our first server. So let's go ahead and first test in motion hosting. Now these are the results that I had for in motion hosting guys. And you know, they did have a relatively good load speed, but they did have a long server response time. And when you look at these graphs right here, you can see that they had a consistently high web server to respond time. However, they had a very good browser speed time right here. And this right here would be considered an outlier. So it's statistically unusual that this happens right here. This could have been due to the plugin or a number of different other problems. So let's go ahead and test this speed for this current domain. So this is in motion hosting. All right, so they're loading about around 2.19 seconds. Uh, pretty decent, pretty solid web hosting company. Uh, if you guys ask me, do I recommend them? Uh, maybe, you know, not bad. If they have a good sale, yeah, I would recommend them. Next is Green Geeks. And Green Geeks is one of those companies that kind of prides themselves on their green energy and being green. So these are the results that I had for uh, Green Geeks right here. They actually had a pretty good uh, server response time. It was a little better than in motion hosting and also their load speed was actually pretty good. So let's go ahead now and test this current domain from greengeeks.com. I've actually used them in the past. They're actually pretty decent. So 2.84 seconds. So a little bit slower than in motion hosting. However, their consistency is better than in motion hosting. So maybe today this loading time might be a little tad longer, but consistently they are a little bit faster than in motion hosting. So Green Geeks, I actually do recommend. I think they're a solid company. I've personally used them in the past. I've never had any issues and their websites do load at a very good speed. Next is SiteGround. People were kind of like saying, oh, SiteGround's my favorite, SiteGround is really good. Are they really? Well, 
In these results, guys, I'm going to be very honest. Cycron performed one of the best. They are probably the best. They performed at a very, very good rate compared to a lot of the other hosting providers. And you guys can see right here, consistently, they have a very low web server to respond time. And also right here, the browser speed was really, really good right here, except for this one day. But this is an outlier, so we really can't take that into consideration too much. So let's go ahead and test out uh, SiteGround. You know, people like in a Facebook page are kind of like saying it's better than this company. And I'm kind of like, really? Like I've never used them. But um, hands down, guys, I think SiteGround was probably uh, one of the fastest hosting providers out there. Uh, they're actually very consistent. Their load time is very, very good. And you guys are asking me, should I switch to SiteGround? I'm going to say yes. Yes, SiteGround was very good. Even when I used the back end of their website and when it was like uploading stuff, it was just blazing fast. Like uh, it was it was relatively very, very fast to upload the theme. Took like a few seconds. Um, other companies, which I'll talk about in a little bit, they took a little bit longer. So if you guys are asking me, SiteGround, yes, I recommend them. Probably one of the best hosting providers I'm going to be reviewing. Next is Bluehost. Bluehost is also pretty popular. Um, they actually emailed me. They let me know they got new servers. So let's test those out. Now, Bluehost servers were a little bit um, shaky. You guys can see here they are a little shaky. However, it's consistent. So they did have a little outlier right here. But uh, nonetheless, guys, their speed was not that bad. And their server response time, not bad at all. So let's go ahead and test out Bluehost. All right, so this is the test for Bluehost. And I'll be very honest, guys, this is a very consistent result. Uh, Bluehost and another company were probably among the slowest providers against all of the other web hosting companies. So if you guys are asking me, you know, Daryl, should I switch over to Bluehost? I'm going to say no, I would not go to Bluehost. I do not recommend Bluehost uh, whatsoever. Um, I know today that doesn't look that bad as far as their web speed time, but I've used them in the past and this has gone up to like six seconds plus. And, um, you know, I've used them. I've actually used clients' websites who are on Bluehost, and I hated it. I said, man, these, the server sucks. I already got random errors. But uh, that's my experience with Bluehost. But if you find a really good sale, guys, and they have a really good deal, go for it, you know. But uh, I would not recommend Bluehost. Next is A2 Hosting. And A2 Hosting prides themselves on being super, super fast. That's what they say about, you know, on, on blogs, on other websites. We're 20 times faster. Are they really so these are the results that I had for A2 hosting. Uh, they had some relatively good server response time. They had a very good load speed time and their technology level is pretty good. I will say this though, to upload the Divi theme did take me longer than usual. I don't know why that might've been an isolated incident, but I'm just letting you know that when I uploaded my theme, it took longer than usual. So let's go ahead and test the results for A2 hosting. Their load time is around two seconds. And you guys, all these web providers, they're all around two seconds. So they're pretty good. You know, they're all relatively pretty good. But you might want to look more about what is the best deal for money if they're all loading around this time. Because, you know, 0.10 MS is not a, a big difference. You won't even see it with the human eye. These guys loaded it a second longer. So it was a little bit of a difference. So A2 Hosting, if you guys ask me, do I recommend them? Sure, why not? I think they're a good company. I haven't used their 20 times faster thing they got advertised. I think it's like, um, yeah, the 20 times faster SSD hosting. I haven't used it. This is just their basic shared hosting, okay? So A2 Hosting, good job. Web Hosting Pad. So Web Hosting Pad really isn't promoted too much on the internet. I haven't seen it, but they are actually a very a relatively popular company. So I had a bad experience with web hosting pad. Their results were pretty bad. Um, I used them and uh, I just got to be honest, uh, they were kind of on the bottom of the barrel of the food chain most of the time. Oops, I'm going to close that. So let's go ahead and test out the current results for web hosting pad. But I do have a coupon code for them in the description. So if you want to check them out, be sure to check them out. So these are the results for web hosting pad. All right, and again, they are right up there with Bluehost. And guys, these results are consistent because I was messing around with this for the past three weeks and I kept seeing these same sort of results with Web Hosting Pad and also Bluehost. So if you guys are gonna ask me, you know, do I recommend Bluehost? Do I recommend Web Hosting Pad? No, I do not recommend them whatsoever. So 
Uh, no, I do not recommend them. Next is DreamHost. DreamHost claims they've won awards, but you know, where have they won awards? You know, where are these awards coming from? They're probably some random blog or whatever, but I, I don't really care. Let's, let's go ahead and check their internet speed. Now, their internet speed was actually a little inconsistent. They had a somewhat of a high server response time, but the problem was is that it only recorded it for around two days. So the plugin really wasn't friendly with their servers. So let's go ahead and check out their speed on their web hosting right here. Oops. So this is the result for DreamHost. And I've never even worked with someone who had DreamHost before. I'm kind of like, DreamHost? Like, what's DreamHost, you know? But DreamHost, guys, I'm going to be very honest. These results are very consistent. And I actually started to recommend them on my website. Their load time was very, very good. They are right up there with SiteGround. And I never really even, you know, used them in the past. But working with them for about a month, I've seen that their results are very consistent. They're a very solid web hosting company. So I would highly recommend DreamHost along with SiteGround as well. Next is HostGator. And HostGator is probably YouTube's most famous you know company everyone out there hostgator hostgator are they really good are they really worth it well let's go ahead and check out these results so looking at these results guys they did somewhat have spikes in their results so right here the um you know the browser finished loading time was a little spiky was a little high but consistently they have a low server you know server to respond time so not bad not bad at all for hostgator uh, let's go ahead and test out the current domain from HostGator. Okay, so this is the result for HostGator. Pretty fast, 1.48. They are a pretty solid web hosting company, guys. Um, I actually use them on my web hosting, so I think they're a relatively good company, but they are a little inconsistent. So sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're not as good. But um, I recommend them. You know, I'd probably recommend SiteGround first. Maybe this company would be tied with DreamHost somewhere around there. But they are a very solid web hosting company, guys. I've never had any problems, okay? So next is, and last, WP Engine. Now, WP Engine claims to be the fastest. And they claim to be the best. Well, are they? One big drawback of WP Engine, guys, is that they do not sell domains. So if you guys want a domain, they do not sell them. They only provide the platform for hosting. And they are actually a little bit more expensive than most companies. So are they really worth it? Are they really good? You'll see these blogs out there that talk about it, but I'm gonna show you guys my results. WP Engine was actually a pretty solid web hosting company, guys. They actually had really good server response time. They had a really good load speed time as well. I used them for about a month. My theme uploaded very fast. Um, everything, you know, when I would upload stuff, it worked really fast, it worked really good. Uh, let's go ahead and test out their current domain. So this is for WP Engine. And they're around 1.5, guys. Pretty fast, very, very consistent. So uh, I would rate this as probably tied with number one with SiteGround. These guys are really, really good. Now, I've, I don't know about their uptime, so maybe they have a much better uptime. I think they guarantee like 100% uptime or something like that. I know DreamHost does, so that's very interesting. So 100% uh, uptime. They're saying their servers will never, ever fail. That's a pretty big... Uh, guarantee they're giving customers okay I think it's on there I think it's on there I could be wrong guys so be sure to check them out WP engine so you know if you guys are asking me you know should I switch over to these companies uh, it's really up to you I think these companies are you know good and bad but I the reason why I, I ran this test guys was because I was just kind of tired of all these stupid blogs out there saying uh, this is good click on the link buy it and they have like a picture of four stars it's like four stars like what does that mean like does that mean it's good does that mean it's bad they're just trying to make commissions. So again, uh, these were my current results with these companies. I think they're pretty solid companies, guys, uh, except for the ones that I talked, um, you know, uh, not too highly about. And if you guys are wanting to see the web hosting companies, you guys can go to my website, darylwilson.com and go to hosting. And here I talk about some of the companies that I recommend, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this test. You know, I, I want it to be as non-biased as possible. I want to bring you guys accurate, truthful results because I know people are very biased and very touchy about their hosting provider. But uh, this was a non-biased test and I just did this because I want to know for myself which one was truly the fastest and which company really performs the best, okay? So I hope you guys like this video. Like it, tell me what you guys think. 
Tell your friends, do whatever. I'll see you guys later.